Our oceans and coastal waters are home to an astonishing diversity of life, part of the natural heritage of our nation. They are also a key part of our maritime history and our connections to the sea, our cultural heritage. And they provide food for our tables as well as contribute to the economy of coastal communities. We love to live and play near our coastal waters, but coastal development, overfishing, water pollution, invasive species and climate change are all taking a toll on our marine heritage. Marine protected areas, or MPAs, were established as a way to conserve our nation's natural and cultural resources. These special places, such as marine parks, refuges and sanctuaries, protect these resources and provide opportunities for people to enjoy and benefit from them. To help improve MPA stewardship and effectiveness, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Marine Protected Area Center was created in 2000 under a presidential executive order. The MPA Center was established with the intent of trying to bring together a diverse collection of federal, state, territorial, and tribal marine protected areas and try and make some sense and some order out of this multiplicity of programs. Nobody knew how many programs we had, how many marine protected areas existed, what they did, and there was no way to compare them, to understand what they did and how they might work together better. To better coordinate our nation's MPAs, the MPA Center is charged with developing a national system of MPAs, a network of existing U.S. MPAs that represent diverse ecosystems from across the nation's waters. This mosaic of protected areas provides an opportunity to work across agencies, states, and regions to tackle common conservation challenges. The national system bridges the communication gap by providing a network which assists MPA managers to work together for conservation, preservation, and protection of our marine resources. Who benefits from this national system? The public, scientists, and government benefit by establishing a common language for marine protected areas that addresses conservation, management, and protection goals, shares research, tools, and technology, and increases visibility and public support. To join the national system, a marine protected area must have a management plan and must meet some of the national conservation objectives developed by consensus by NPA managers and stakeholders. Member sites will have the opportunity to work with other national system NPAs to more effectively conserve resources and share information. Marine protected areas are insurance for conserving our natural heritage, our cultural heritage, and sustainable marine resources for present and for future generations. Learn more about the national system of MPAs. Explore MPA.gov. <laughs>